It all began when the New York Post published this picture of Rudy Giuliani with Judith Nathan. She's a, a good friend, a very good friend. A week later, Giuliani confirmed rumors that had swirled for years about his marriage to Donna Hanover. We've grown independent. Uh, we've grown more separate over the years. He said they were separating, much to Hanover's surprise. Six months later, and after treating his prostate cancer, he filed for divorce. And that's when things turned really nasty. Hanover got a judge to ban Judith Nathan from Gracie Mansion. In return, Giuliani stripped his wife of her city-funded staff and her duties as first lady and sent his pit bull attorney on the attack. Her agenda is to embarrass the mayor, to embarrass his friends, to make life difficult, to denigrate the mayor of the city of New York, and to help her career. Neither Hanover nor her lawyer have ever responded much publicly, even when Felder implied Hanover was a bad mother. But their actions speak volumes. Hanover demanded huge sums of child support. Still mayor, Giuliani pleaded poverty. The mayor today, as we speak, has $7,000 under his control. The battle took a back seat after September 11th. Nathan became a constant presence at Giuliani's side, even escorting him out of City Hall on his last day in office. The saga finally picked up again two weeks ago, when Hanover filed her own divorce suit, citing Giuliani's, quote, open and notorious adultery, and not just with Nathan. For several years, it was difficult to participate in Rudy's public life because of his relationship with one staff member. She was talking about Christine Latigano, Giuliani's one-time communications director. Latigano and Giuliani have both denied they had an affair. If this case goes to trial, those women would likely take the stand. And that's testimony Giuliani certainly doesn't want public. He remains an icon after 9-11 and a possible contender for national office.